Are you one of the millions of golfers out there that struggle with your grip? You're never comfortable, things always feel weird and are off and bad shots happen quite often because we're doing just one or two things wrong with the grip we have. We're kind of crossing signals with, we're, we're, we're using techniques from one grip and using them for a different grip and they don't really match up. So if you have an overlapping grip, you're probably doing this one thing that's messing you up. And we're gonna fix you up right now. So there's definitely a lot of options when it comes to grips. There's the overlap, there's interlock, and 10 finger, and a variety of other variations with, with all that. Let's say you're using this overlap grip. A lot of times what I see people do is they get this first finger of your left hand really close to their other fingers right here. And then they overlap. What you want to do is this, you need to create space in there. And there's a very important reason why you need to do that. And we'll go over that. But this is the biggest mistake I see with the overlap is that this finger, your first index finger, is squished with all the rest of your hand. And then you can't overlap, but here's what happens. These are the types of shots you'll probably hit when you do that. Usually, they're these weak, high shots way off to the right. And that's, that's not gonna be very productive for you. So if those are the shots you're facing, it's quite often because you're squishing that finger down and trying to connect it to the rest of your hand. So what you wanna do is just kick that up a little bit. Create like a notch for your pinky on your other hand to fit into. It's like a little, uh, little slot for it right there. And then it holds it secure for one. And then what else that does is it moves the pressure of where you're squeezing the club. And that's important for every grip you have, whether it's interlock, overlap, or 10 finger. So when you start creating that notch, and then you're able to get your finger in there, now what I want you to do is where do you squeeze? So you want to squeeze with your last three fingers of your left hand, and then really light with everything else, and then you want to squeeze with your thumb and index finger on your right hand. And you also want to create a notch there as well on your right hand, right like so. So you have a notch here for your pinky to go into, and then a notch here for your right hand. And then what that does is now the pressure is up here in this hand and down here on your left hand. And when I say pressure, here's what we want to do. The pressure on this hand, you have to be careful. A lot of people think pressure means squeezing your fingertips into the butt of the club. No, you want to use this hand, these fingers, to push the butt of the club up into this back pad here. So you're pushing it up in it, not pulling down with your fingers. That's a big difference between where your pressure is coming from. One is just pulling with your fingertips. The other is like pushing it into the pad. You want to push it into the pad. If you don't create that notch with your left hand, then all the pressure is now off your bottom fingers on your left hand and off your top fingers on your right hand. And it's in the center. And when you're gripping the club, that's no good because if your grip is here in the center of the handle, then again, you're gonna do stuff like this. You can't create any speed, any control with the club face. Get the notch here, get the notch up here, and, now, and then get the pressure into that back pad with your left hand and on your index and thumb on your right hand, and you'll start hitting much better shots. And the last thing we need to do after we get those pieces correct is this, and it's a game changer for a lot of people. 
you want to learn how to adjust the pressure on your right hand only. I always like to keep my left hand pretty consistent all the time. And all I do is play with the amount of pressure I use with my thumb and index finger on my right hand. For example, if I squeeze it tighter, this kind of shot is likely to happen for me. Pretty good shot, nice high right fade or push fade. If I do not want to go left, I squeeze tighter with my thumb and index finger on my right hand. If I want a little more distance or potentially play a draw, I just I start to loosen the amount of pressure I'm using with my thumb and index finger. And this is the type of shot we'll have. So I'll make it really loose now. And look at that. Now it's a 175 yard carry, a nice draw. That's what happens when you start getting the pressure perfect in your left hand. And then you play with the pressure with your thumb and index finger on your right hand. And you have much greater control and your grip will be much more consistent and feel a lot better throughout your golf swing. Love you guys. Practice hard. See you soon.